How does what's happening in the economy have an impact on the real estate market? Obviously, the world would think that with all the craziness, something's got to give, right? Well, I completely understand your concern. It's valid. There's a few scenarios. Some people may have to sell and they don't have a choice because of a job transfer or loss. But some may just be wondering if they should hold on and see if the market goes up so they can get a better return on their investment. Or others may feel like they need to sell now so they can keep all the equity in case the market does go down. There are certain factors and variables that can cause housing markets to go down, and those factors also have a positive or negative effect on the housing market as well. Hi, I'm Krista Mayshore with Homes by Krista and eXp Realty. The unemployment rate is one of the contributing factors, and it was lower pre-pandemic and then spiked pretty high from April to July, hovering between 8 and about 14%, but it has been coming down month after month since April, which is obviously a positive sign. Obviously, we are hoping that it keeps coming down. Experts are projecting that it will continue to drop. There have been several recessions in the United States throughout history. But if you look historically at the times during recessions where the number of months that unemployment was greater than or equal to 9%, the recession of 2020 is the lowest. It puts unemployment in perspective to where we are right now, nowhere near what it was in the past. The Great Depression had 108 months. The Great Recession had 30 months. The 1980s oil recession had 19 months. And in 2020, we only had four months where the unemployment rate was greater than or equal to 9%. Also, the number of people going into active forbearance is decreasing. It's continued to go down since May. So more people are paying their mortgages as they are getting their jobs back. Many people are wondering what will happen due to the election. I would recommend looking at a few factors. One is inventory. Back in 2008, the inventory levels were very high, putting us in a buyer's market. Home prices were depreciating because there was so much supply. Today's inventory levels are very, very low, showing that it's a seller's market and prices are going up because buyers are paying more to secure the homes. Also right now, the percentage of equity that homeowners have is very strong. John Burdens Consulting tells us that 42.1% of homes owned in the country are owned free and clear. They have no mortgages at all. And that 90% of homes have at least 10% equity, which indicates that less homes will go into foreclosure due to the amount of equity that they have. So there's a lot of data that points to a positive forecast for the housing market in the future. Feel free to reach out to us at no cost or risk for a hassle-free strategy session. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And as always, Krista Mayshore here. Make it a great home selling and buying day.